Let's play Alpha Sapphire! Good morning, everybody! It's Midnight and Beyond! Welcome to my Let's Play of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire for the Nintendo 3DS. Sort of. For those of you who aren't aware, I did a Let's Play Pokemon Emerald a few years back, and I never actually did the after game. Well, this is what we're going to be doing right here and now. I'm actually going to make this a continuation of my Let's Play of Emerald rather than a whole new Let's Play on its own. Rather than going through all of Alpha Sapphire, we're going to be going through Pokemon Emerald's after game, as well as showing off the special Delta episode that was included at the end of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. This Let's Play will be considered not its own new Let's Play, but a continuation of an old one. And it will be referred to as Pokemon Delta Emerald. I hope you are all okay with that and you enjoy what I have in store for you. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get things started. XX, XX, the XXth day of the XXth month. Riveting storytelling right off the bat. Moss Deep Space Center, Celestial Observatory. Professor Cosmo, it's it's a disaster. The meteoroid's trajectory, it's suddenly changed direction. Now it's on a collision course with our planet. What? Recheck the data. Update the course calculations and confirm new trajectory. Target locked on. Confirming the meteoroid's new expected trajectory now. According to the numbers, it should make impact somewhere southwest of Sutopolis on a small island off Route 131. But changing trajectories mid-flight, it's almost like it's alive. But Professor, what should we do? What do we do? Calm yourself, man. Yes, sir. Hmm, so it's come to this. I've got to ask a ten-year-old. Looks like I won't be needing this. Yep. Phew, that's so much better. Ooh, I feel so free. That uniform got pretty stinky after a while, and all sweaty too. Oh, my adorable little Aster. Are you so happy that you get to see me looking like myself again, hmm? Ha, huh, you're just so darn cute, like always. Phew, but there's not much time left for us. It'll only be a matter of weeks. No, days. Things have gotten a bit tricky now, since that kid managed to stop one of the super ancient Pokemon from being revived like it should have been. Not that it's a really big deal. I've already thought of a new plan. If I just tweak a bit with the Keystone, one with plenty of that buildup. I swear I'll protect you, Aster. Let's play Pokemon Delta Emerald. It's good to be back, all things considered. Let's see what our team's looking like because we have been far away from them for a very long time and I apologize this is going to be really confusing. I honestly have no idea how I'm going to be editing this all together. I already have all of the Emerald footage of the after game and stuff recorded, and that was a few months ago, so I apologize that this is super inconsistent. I don't know if this game released beforehand or afterwards. I really do not know. It's going to make sense in the end, hopefully, and hopefully you'll all enjoy it. But anyway, let's see the team. I know our movesets are going to be different between the two versions, but let's see what we have with us right here and now. We got ourselves Waylord, level 52, with the moves Dive, Rock Smash, we're going to get rid of that, Surf, and Waterfall. We got Torkoal, level 56, with the moves uh, Rock Tomb, Overheat, Flame Wheel, and Body Slam. Salabi, level 58, with the moves Zen Headbutt, Shadow Claw, Foul Play, and Confuse Ray. And a Mega Stone that we can play around with in this version, which is very fun. Hariyama, level 55, with the moves Vital Throw, Earthquake, Knock Off, and Strength. Swellow, level 56, with the moves Air Slash, Fly, Steel Wing, and Brave Bird. And Trico, level 60 with the moves Slam, Screech, Giga Drink, and Energy Ball. 
I'm not going to be going into all the mechanics of a Generation 6 game as well as like everything that happened before in Alpha Sapphire. I'm mainly just going to be trying to focus on the Delta episode. So in terms of stuff like the experience share and the Mega Evolution, all that jazz, it's going to be relevant in this LP, but it's not really going to be talked about all that much because this is not meant to be a walkthrough of Alpha Sapphire. It's just talking about uh, more so the story experience that is the Delta episode. Hopefully you are all okay with that. The trash can is empty. And we got ourselves an adorable Snorlax doll right here. I guess we're just going to head downstairs. All oh, the Wii U right there. So sad. Hmm? Why, if it isn't Jeffrey. It's been, it's been some time since I last saw you. But you look stronger somehow. Uh, maybe because I saved the world and beat the Elite Four and all that jazz. That's the impression I get. But your old man hasn't given up yet. Oh, and before I forget, I was thinking of giving these to you. A pair of tickets. Put the pair of tickets in the key item's pocket. There are tickets to the star show that's being held at Moss Deep Space Center. I was really planning to go with your mom, but it looks like I've got to rush back to the gym in Pedalburg. Oh, hmm, you know, it is it is a pair of tickets. Why don't you invite that little cutie May from next door to come along? Now I'd better be heading back to the gym. Thanks for looking out after the house while I'm away, dear. Of course, dear. Have a safe trip. What if I don't want to invite May? What if I don't want to invite Flannery or Winona or someone or Phoebe? Oh, Phoebe, I miss her. Oh, that dad of yours. He comes home for the first time in ages and all he talks about is Pokemon. But really, is there anyone in the universe of Pokemon that doesn't talk about Pokemon? Eh, whatever. Why can't you ever just get let go and relax? And tomorrow, the long-awaited Star Show will finally begin. We've got all the latest news and updates. Oh, well, and just what? And just like that, look at this, Jeffrey. Okay, that's a very weird sentence. At last, the li little, little annoyed meteor, okay, a uh, meteor shower returns to illuminate Hoenn's night sky. The Star Show held at the Moss Deep Space Center will provide the best view of the, s of the shooting stars from the center's lofty viewing deck. We hope you all take uh, take the chance to join. Oh, it sounds lovely. The little, little, little annoyed. Hmm, I can't read that. Whatever. I'm going to say the lit annoyed because it's all I could think of when I see that word. I remember going to see them with your dad 11 years ago when they last passed by. You should match, match right over, march right over to invite that neighbor girl you're friends with. You can't let the pair of tickets you got from your dad go to waste, so take her along. I guess if you don't have any other choice, we'll take May with us, though I would much rather prefer Phoebe. And hello. Huh? Whoa, are we in sync or what? You know, I was just thinking about you. It's great to meet you. It is our final, our first real meeting, right? Yeah, that's right. Of course it is. The name's Zinnia, and you? Well, I know all about you. You're Jeffrey, of course. You're the new Pokemon League champion. And you're the one who has the special few... You're one of the special few who uses Mega Evolution to get even close to their Pokemon. Now, aren't you? Uh, first off, if you check the Pokedex entries for a lot of the Mega Pokemon, I don't think they would be getting closer to you when you force them to Mega Evolve. And second, I never really understood why Mega Evolution was like such a big deal, but like hardly anyone ever uses it in the game. So it was like, why do you even bother creating it? <laughs> okay, I know, I know. I'll leave it alone. Look, I'm stopping. But this sure is a nice place, isn't it? Little Root Town. I think I'll keep it. And everybody living here is just so nice, too. Like that neighbor of yours. Everyone wants to do me. Jeez, I don't know what's up with this place. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to go on like that. We should keep our first meeting short and sweet, don't you think? Until next time. Bye-bye. Well, that was an interaction and a half, I'll say that much. Uh, we got May's house right here, Professor Birch's house. I always sort of forget that she's the daughter of Professor Birch because it's different in the anime. And I guess just different in terms of who you play as. Ow. May, are you okay? Oh, what should I do? What should I do? Oh, Wibble. What the fruit? It's not that big a deal, Mom. She just knocked me down a bit. Youch, that stings. Do you mind? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Jeffrey! Jeffrey, you, you're you alright, huh? That's a relief. It all happened so fast that I couldn't do a thing, but 
Some strange woman came in my window upstairs, and then she, she took my keystone from me. I tried to fight her off with my team, but she was really strong. I didn't stand a chance. I think I heard her muttering under her breath as she left, though. Something like Pedalberg's next? Jeffrey, be careful. Guess that's our cue to go to Pedalberg. So they kind of give you a good idea or good indications as to where to go. There's plenty of things you could do in the out in the after game besides the Delta episode, but we're going to be focusing just on the Delta episode. We're not really going to be showing off any of the other things in Alpha Sapphire because we got plenty of things to do as it is. So let's just head out. Going to Route 101. We could use Fly, but well, how's about we get our bearings straight and just re-experience the land? Uh, I'm not even sure if I'm going to be showing the bottom the screen or not. I'm not sure if it's entirely necessary for this LP, but we'll see. Uh, we're here in Old Dale Town. We could just keep on walking to get ourselves to Pedalberg, if I can remember the way. That would be nice. And just sort of re-experiencing the graphics and the music and everything. I do like that feature of just having Pokemon pop up and stuff, but... Honestly, after playing Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu, and Eevee, like, I don't know if I could ever go back to... stinking random encounters the way they are in the olden days, because... Not only does it make it a lot more lively and everything, to have them appear on the screen, like, outside of battle, but it's just so much easier and convenient. Like, there's a difference between easy and convenient. Because a lot of people are like, oh, you can't change it that way because that's just making it easy for the kids. They gotta suffer like all of us did back in the old days. But no, it's not like that. It's just like it's convenient. Like, we weren't able to do it like that back in the old days. And like, I would very much appreciate if it was like that because it just makes it look cooler. Uh, but anyway, here we are in Pedalburg City. I presume she would be at the gym or maybe we should talk to this guy first. Oh, I forgot tiptoe. It was a thing. I just saw for a split second. I gotta go back to that. You're such a little pain. Shut up and give me the keystone. I only have it, I tell you. Did I give him a snarf voice? I don't remember. I'm just going to give him that because that's what I feel is most fitting. Don't play dumb. I already know you can use Mega Evolution. Arg! Are you even listening? I've been telling you. Ah, uh, Jeffrey! What the? You punk. Ooh, ah, just in time, aren't you? I'm going to take your keystone first, you jerk. It's time to fight Team Aqua once again. So if you're playing the Mega Ruby, obviously you'd be fighting a uh, Team Magma admin. I believe you'd be fighting. Uh, I don't even remember their names. I don't even think they had names back in the original games. But this guy's name is Matt. So menacing, menacing Matt is what they call him. He's got a Sharpedo. Thank God he doesn't have a stinking Mighty Ana or Poochyana. Cause after playing that game, like I did not remember it being that stinking repetitive. But after playing Emerald again. Poochyena is by far my least favorite Pokemon because they always stinking use it. It's so stinking annoying. Every single Aqua and Magma Grunt has a Poochyena. And it's so stinking annoying. My god, I'd rather be fighting Magikarps. And that was really crummy damage. Uh, I should probably switch to someone who could actually do damage. Let's go to Trico. Didn't do that. Uh, something I like about the newer games is that you can actually use your unevolved starter Pokemon and have them actually be useful. Which I very much appreciate. And that's what I like about the newer games being easier because I could create more and more unconventional teams and have it actually work. So I could just use the Pokemon I want rather than just having to force myself to use a strategic team to just get me through the game. So we're just going to go and use Giga Drain, get our HP back. And since we didn't make physical contact, we don't have to worry about rough skin. And there you go. Very easy battle. Also 69! Whoa! Receive 5,300 Pokemonies. Whoa! You clown always getting all up in my business. It's gonna be like that. I'm off to Meteor Falls. And he slowly walks out. Thank you so much, Jeffrey. That strange man suddenly attacked me, demanding that I hand over my keystone. The truth is, I couldn't give it to him even if I wanted to. My keystone is gone. I left it in the house when I went out and it just disappeared. What's the world going on? If someone like that ever shows up again, I've got to protect my mom and dad. You better be careful too, Jeffrey. Uh, it's a bit too cheeky, but whatever. I think he's worthy of it. Uh, entry call version 0.09 app rain on your Pokemon Plus. What the fruit? Hello? Hello? Is that you, Jeffrey? It's me, Steven. Have you... have? Have, bleh, have you been doing well? Apparently not, since I don't even know how to read after all this time. Hey, I imagine you must be quite shocked. This is a communication mode that Devin is still currently developing. It comes installed on every Pokenav Plus. I thought I would only use it if I needed to contact you urgently. 
but it looks like as though the time has already come. I'm sorry to ask you of this, but I need you to come to the Devon Corporation in Rustboro. Uh, it, there's something I have to talk to you about in person. I'll be waiting for you there. So we got our next objective handed to us, and I forgot that in this game, if you hold down the control stick very slightly, or the circle pad, excuse me, you could tiptoe. It's for sneaking up on wild Pokemon that you see in the grass. Uh, like, it's usually just for rare Pokemon, because if you run them, they'll disappear. But it looks so stinking funny. I really want someone to do, like, a versus of Alpha Sapphire and Mega Ruby, like, but only doing tiptoes. I think it would just be so stinking hilarious to just go through the entire game like this. To be like, da -da 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 Ah, but we're not going to be doing that. And we're also not going to be walking everywhere because that's very lame. So we're going to go and use Swellow and fly to Rustboro City. The power of 3D animation. It's so cool. Uh, also, this isn't Rustboro City. This is Rustboro City. Here we go. Uh, we're just gonna make our, make our way into the building over here. I believe this is no, this is Devin Corp. This is Devin Corp. Yeah, because it gets a cool camera angle, and also Steven's right here, so that's kind of important. Jeffrey, I'm sorry about summoning you so suddenly. It's well known how often my intuition turns out to be right, but I never imagined we would be meeting again this soon. Uh, have you consider how long has it been since I LP'd Emerald? Two or three years? I don't know. Also, that's crazy. Two or three years? Really? It was year. Four. No, it was your five. Your five, right? Yeah, your five. And I mean, your seven. Okay, so it wasn't crazy long. Two years is crazy long, right? I don't know. Never mind if we meet again this soon. I'm sorry to say it is not as happy news that brings us together. Sigh. This isn't something we could discuss in public. Let's continue this inside. After you. Dad, Jeffrey is here. Well, welcome, welcome. I forgot the game. This like this weird camera angle. I don't know why it's just weird. Uh, it's been quite a while, hasn't it? Oh ho ho ho! I suppose I'm just getting old. Recently, I seem to forget details just as soon as I learn them. Ho 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 ho! Dad, ahem. Oh, I know. I know what you want to say. My, what a hasty, impatient one you are. What are you to do with such an impatient one for our Pokemon League champion? Oh, is that so? So you're the new champion, Jeffrey. Then I guess we'll never break you of that impatience after all, Stephen. Ho oh, ho ho ho! We're accomplishing literally nothing. Dead! Bah! I know, I know. He looks so angry. Can't you take a joke? Now then, Jeffrey. I'm afraid that I'm planning to start in, start in a long, rather long, quite heavy topic. Are you sure that you're ready to take it all in? I guess so. Not really. Uh, sure. Uh, expect a lot of singing dialogue in Delta episode. I know that was kind of a complaint that it's just very dialogue heavy, but it's all about the story, so I guess you kind of need dialogue for that sort of thing. Hmm. I suppose I should begin. Let me first take us back 3,000 years to the days when this story began. <laughs> There was a great war at that time, in a region far from here. That war was finally brought to an end by a weapon created by one man. And what energy source could power such a dreadful weapon? Do you know? You see, it ran off of the life energy of Pokémon. The energy that could be gained by the sacrifice of so many Pokémon. There are surely many people who would call it reprehensible. But my grandfather, the president of Devon before me, said this. Couldn't we use the energy to improve the lives of people and Pokemon? And so he developed our greatest creation here at the Devon Corporation. Infinity Energy. Thanks to Infinity Energy, Devon was able to become one of the top industries of Hoenn, and developed into the giant you see today. You may be surprised to learn that the Devon parts you once received for us were in fact parts of a motor that were that would make it possible to power a submarine using infinity energy. It was not long before we began to expand our attempts to further human development. Next we moved into exploring space. The rockets launched from the Mosteve Space Center using our infinity energy. 
they are the true results of our dreams, our passion, and our technology. But never did we imagine they could end up as best hope for saving our world. My primable, my primable has been quite long, but we arrive at last at the real issue. That is the overwhelming catastrophe which now approaches us. A huge asteroid, more than six miles in diameter, is currently on track to collide with our planet. We have been working together with the Moss Deep Space Center, which was first to recognize this danger. We are devising countermeasures that would use our rockets, but in order for these plants to succeed, though, we need a meteorite shard. So that's it. You want him to go and get that shard for you. Ha, oh, that's my boy. All right. I knew I I knew you'd understand at once. It was hardly a deduction worthy of praise. I want you to make your way to the granite cave near Duford. According to our surveys, you should be able to find the kind of meteorite shards that we need there. And you, Steven. I want you, son, to head for the space center at once to start the preparations using that link cable that I gave you. A link cable? So it, so it is to be a swap system or a warp system I can't read. Yes, I understand. But Granite Cave? Ah, I see. The floor where we first met. The floor with all the ancient wall paintings. It is true that there are many shards of meteorite. My goodness sakes! <coughs> oh, God. <laughs> Midnight and Beyond, ruining dramatic moments since 2012, or was it 2013 when I began? I have no idea. It is true that there were many shards of meteorites shattered around there. It looks as though it's decided then, Jeffrey. I will head for the space center in Mosty. If I learn anything, I will contact you at once. Though it will end up as another one-sided message like, I, like the one I sent you, I'm afraid. Good luck. Is he joking about the fact that I don't speak? Steven, you be careful. Then I will be counting on the two of you to take care of this for me. If you forget just what it is you need to do, come talk to me again. Assuming I remember as well. Ho ho! And assuming I remember as well. So, we got ourselves a situation ahead of us and we know our next objective. So I think this is a good stopping point and we could go ahead and continue in the next episode. Next time on Pokemon Delta Emerald, we are going to head back to Duford Cave in search of a meteorite shard. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.